Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the small multiple line chart. Now, the small multiple line chart is actually an interesting one that many folks that are using other visualization tools outside of Power BI are probably eager for. Uh, this is where it allows you to actually have multiple visuals showing within the context of a single visual itself. So, say for example, you were to drag in a line chart and you wanted to be able to multiply that line chart times a certain number of attribute values you have. That's what the small multiple line chart allows you to do, is say that I'd like to see this line chart, but I'd like to see it by all different categories of values. So in the screenshot on the right-hand side, it's broken down by different regions, it would appear. So you see something like Northland, Canterbury, things like that are breaking things, breaking this chart into multiple visuals so they can be seen all on one single chart. And that way you can actually compare those different attributes and how the measures stack up against each other. So that's what you're seeing over here. It's the same exact line chart shown with the same exact measures, but by different attributes. So that attribute piece is a big piece of what you're gonna see as we work through this one. It's a really nice visual. I do like it quite a bit. Uh, you can see who it's published by below, Daniel. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into an example of how you may wanna use this in your environment. All right, so in this example, we're gonna start by pulling in our data from an Excel workbook. We'll do that by going up to the Get Data section and selecting Excel. Underneath Excel, we're gonna select this one here called Country Progress which once we open it, you'll see there's a spreadsheet in here that has multiple different measures we can work with. We're actually only gonna use one measure, but the chart certainly can support more than one measure. And so we're gonna go ahead and select the country progress and hit load to bring this into our Power BI data model. Once that loads into our data model, we'll see on the right-hand side all of the fields that we're going to be using for this example. And we're gonna then tell it that we want to bring in the small multiple line chart from the custom visual marketplace. So if we go up to the top here where it says from marketplace, we can select that. And we'll type in something like, once it gets finished populating here, we'll type in something like a small multiple and see what it returns back. There we go. So you can see a small multiple line chart appears up top. We'll go ahead and select add to bring that into our visualization pane on the right hand side. Once it brings in that new visual, we can select and add it to our visualization pane here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it take up a little bit larger interface here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to bring in some different fields for this visual. So in this scenario, what we're going to do is I'm going to start by bringing in income to the values section. And we're going to bring into the axes, we're going to bring in the year. So we want to see the year going across the bottom or the horizontal axes. And then we're going to make small multiples based off of the country. So I should see a line chart for every country in my data set. And so you can actually see up top, it's rather small, but you can see Belgium, Canada, France, Germany, Israel, so on and so forth, all showing within inside of the line chart that we see here. Now, what you're actually seeing is multiple line charts. And it's a little difficult to read as it sits right now, but we're going to do some things in the settings area to make this a lot easier to make sense out of. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to the format paintbrush with that line chart selected. And we're going to go underneath the properties here for small multiples. If you select small multiples, you can see then that you can actually adjust some of the settings so you can actually see these multiple line charts visi visibly shown much in an in a easier to view fashion. So the first thing I might do is scroll down here a little bit and change where you see the option here for multiples per row. So multiples per row is right here. Right now it's set to all. We wanna change that to something like maybe four. And so I wanna see four charts per row. And as soon as you do that, you can see that the chart's now much more easy to read. It's a lot easier to make sense of it. So you can play around with this, you can adjust it some, you can make it three per row, you can make it five per row, you can do whatever you want to be able to make this easier to view. It's really up to you how you'd like to see it. I'm gonna leave it as five. That gives me a lot, a lot of viewing pleasure here, a lot of place where I can actually see uh, the chart uh, with plenty of space. You can also though change things like the position of the legend and the label, I should say. So the label for each of these chart, you can see above, it's telling me which country this is based off of. Right now, that's showing in the, the top position. I could move that to the bottom position, which might be a little easier for you to read. You might have a preference to see it that way. You can also change the font color of that label, and so you can see it in more of a pure black text here if you'd like. And you could outright turn that label off if you wanted to, if you would prefer not to see that at all. You can also change the alignment, center align, right align, left align, and you could also increase the font size of that a little bit. You can then uh, adjust things like the column spacing, so how much space it has in between each of the charts. So if you want to bump that up quite a bit, you can do that. And maybe you want to bump up the row spacing as well, so there's plenty of space between each of the charts. 
And if you were to do something like that, you might also want to increase the size of the actual visual itself. You can also change things like the background color. So if I wanted to make this in kind of like a light blue, you can do something like that. Or maybe since I already have a light blue as the chart type, maybe I make it a light red or something like that. You can adjust the transparency, of course, make it lower or higher. I'm going to leave it slightly up to about 80%. And you could also do something like maybe you have a zebra effect on this. And basically, that's like having an every other color on the column. So if I turn that on, you'll see every other color kind of changes and just makes it so it stands out a little bit more. The real benefit of doing that zebra effect that you're seeing here is if I didn't have any multiples here, say, for example, the multiples were set to zero and I didn't have any spacing between the columns, then these would kind of come together in a nice, smooth fashion. What you'll see some people will do is they'll actually have the multiples based on the months, and they'll have the zebra effect on every other month will have a different color. So it's really up to you on how you prefer to see that. I'm going to turn that zebra effect off for this example, but this shows you what that can do. And you can change, by the way, the alternating color here. If you want to change the alternating color in the font color, you can do that as well. But I'm going to turn that off, and I will, however, turn on the border setting here so you can see a border showing around my charts. And if you wanted to, you can increase the border size and the border color. Maybe you make it more of a pure black that stands out more, and then, of course, you can increase the size of that border as well if you'd like. You can also change the border style from solid to a dashed line or a dotted line. That's up to you if you'd prefer that. But I think I'll leave that just as it is. Then if you work your way down a little bit more underneath the data color section here, you can actually adjust the color that's being used for this particular measure. So right now, income is using this green color, but you could change it to something else if you wanted to. I'll leave it alone. And then if you go down to the x-axis, see here, you can actually turn on the x-axis so you can actually see below here the range at which the years are that we're looking at in each of these charts. So it's from 1980 to 2008. And if you want to, you can adjust that to make it a little easier to read. So you can make it more of a pure black. Maybe you increase the font size some. So that way you can really understand what you're measuring here. Now, what some people might do is they might actually look up in the legend, and then the legend itself, it says between 1980 and 2008. And because it says that, they might determine that it's not necessary to have the x-axis on, and they might turn that off. So that's, again, completely up to you whether or not you want to see that on or off but you can certainly do that down on the bottom. Uh, a few other things here just to point out, you can show or hide the titles. So you can see here, I can see that it's showing the title of the axis, which is the, the year is the title. You can change the name of the title. There's a lot of flexibility here. So there's a lot of things you can do to adjust. And you could also do things like change the stroke width that's used as well. So a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff that you can turn on. You can change the color of that as well. A lot of nice, nice uh, settings you can turn on. I'm gonna actually revert this to default, which turns it off. Under the y-axis section, here you might want to do some things like, uh, say for example, I want to turn on the grid line. So you can change the font type, you can change the style. Uh, I might, like I said, turn on the grid line, and maybe I make the grid line more, uh, stand out more. So right now it's kind of this off-color gray, but maybe I make it black so it stands out a lot more. And then maybe I change the stroke type, the style here, to something like uh, dotted or dashed, so that way I can really see the data that's within it as well. So you can change some things in here as well with the start and end point of each of the charts. That's up to you how you'd like to see that. But it makes for a lot of nice customizations that you can do with inside of this y-axis. A little bit further down, you can adjust the legend settings. The legend is what you see up top here. Obviously, the legend is very tiny, so it's a little hard to see. So you might want to do some things like adjust that. But you can change the position of the legend if you want to see it on the bottom or if you want to see it on the right or the right center. You can kind of adjust those things. I'm going to leave it up in the top where it was, but just note that you can change that. Uh, but you can even come down a little bit further, and like I said, you can change the font size, the font color, make it stand out a bit more. There's certainly some things you can do to kind of adjust that and make it a lot easier to read. So it's a nice couple settings that you have built in here. Now, that's really it for this one. There's, there's you know, a lot of little settings in, intermingled in between each of these sections that you have in the cards and the format section. And you can really kind of dig in and deeper and see which ones make sense for you to use and which ones, you know, are less interesting. So that's really it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the small multiple line chart. I actually like this one quite a bit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well and look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.